Hi, this is Sean Weaver with Six String Country. And in this video, we'll be taking a look at beginning mode mixture, expanding on what Eric introduced you to in the previous course, and building the, the groundwork to really run with this and add all the good major and minor notes and to start really mixing them up. But this, this lesson will keep it nice and manageable. We're just going to take the blues scale that we already learned in lesson three and add the major third to that. And we'll talk about exactly what that means, as well as there will be a section in here on feeling groove and rhythm when it starts to be a slow blues and a, a little bit about time signatures and what they are and, and how to feel them and what they mean when we're talking about 12-8 or 4-4 time. And also, we will be talking a bit about some usable musical theory and the major scale, but only insofar as it's going to lead us back to playing the blues and, and why, we, why we would even need to talk about that at all. So uh, if, if you'd like to dive into that with me, uh, there is a video in this lesson all about the music theory, and I encourage you to spend some time with it because it will give you a solid framework. What we're really trying to build here is the groundwork for you to start intuitively playing the way that your favorite blues players play, mixing major and minor pentatonics and, and doing things in the moment that do not fall exactly in one box that you may have learned out of scale book. Um, it's how the greatest players in the world intuitively play, the greatest blues players. We'll be taking a look at the written materials accompanying this, and it's, it's for all intents and purposes a course ebook that goes along with this whole series. So there's a bit of writing in here, and uh, we won't have time to. I'm not going to sit here and read and read every sentence, but I do want to cover the scales and the diagrams and the concepts. So in order to expand on mode mixture, which Eric introduced to you in the previous course, and go watch those if 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 it's new to you exactly what even is mode mixture, what am I talking about? But in short, we're talking about starting to mix some major and minor notes together, and all the great blues players intuitively do this. Um, you hear like B.B. King mixing major and minor notes, and Albert King played a lot more minor, but there were some major notes in there. Freddie King uh, would certainly mix a lot, and um, it just, it happens intuitively, but in this rhythm guitar part, it's a, another one of those pretty simple, fairly repetitive parts, although not shuffling just on the sixth and fifth strings, doing the, that, that's a fine approach to take playing blues rhythm guitar, but it's not one size fits all. And so throughout this series, I'm, I'm trying to give you other examples of, of some useful and valid rhythm guitar parts, and you can add add that to the mix as well. In fact, I do it momentarily here over the A chord. Um, but as far as having a few rhythm guitar things in, in, in your vocabulary, you know. So um, what I'm doing here is it's bass and partly chordal. Um, by bass, I just mean bass strings. I'm using pick and fingers because I'm so used to doing that from the finger picking bag. But you can do this all with a straight pick. And it's starting out with a triplet on beat one measure one, uh, six string, and I'm just going triple it on the low E string, just by itself, and then getting the middle of, uh, it's sort of like an A to an E chord motion, but it's really just two strings, and it's just the fourth and third string at the second fret, and then going back to the second fret, fourth string, open third string is a grace note hammering on to the first fret, so it's forming an E chord. And because we are in the key of E, and this should be over the, the sound of an E7 chord. So I go E, low E, and then, and that's sort of like a suspension, like an E suspended or a momentary A over E. 
and then back to the low E, and then hammering in, hammering on to the first fret so it's going to wiggle the strings just a little bit, if that's comfortable to do. So now we'll go ahead and take a look. We'll play the whole thing at the metronome marking that I recorded the jam along track at. One, two, three, four. This video will be taking a look at the solo and just as a review of what we, what we talked about in the theory lesson or if the theory lesson was something you didn't want to mess with here are the positions I'm working out of uh, so I'm taking the E blues scale that we already learned in lesson three and I'm adding in a major third note I talk about why it's the major third and how we got there in the theory video but if you're just joining me now here's the Here's the shape of the position, and this is in, included in the written materials accompanying the transcription of what I played. So it's open string, third fret, fourth fret with my pinky, open fifth, first fret, second fret, open fourth string, second fret, and so on and so forth, up the next octave. Open third string, first fret, second fret, third fret, second string open. And if I'm counting it in four with the triplets like we talk about in the rhythm video, one, two, oh, let, three, oh, I guess that'd be one, triple it, triple it, triple let, uh, yeah. It's, it, I'm not even counting that, I'm feeling that at, at this point, but it's, it's all there in, in the rhythm video for you. And I meticulously noted out the rhythm, notated out the rhythm in, in the 12-8 for you on the page. Um, Measure three, we're just going to go to the eighth fret and bend that up a half step and put a little bit of vibrato on the top, which we cover in the second vibrato video lesson. How to do that. And my hand is clutched around the neck, just like we talked about in that video. So that's a minor note into a major note, and it's on the E7. That's an E minor note into an E major note. This is a really big deal in blues guitar, getting that minor, that major motion. So if I play measures one and two into the beginning of measure three, it sounds like this. So and now we'll go ahead and play it at the tempo I play the jam along at. One, two. Triple it, triple it, one. 